Tyson with JuniorHockey.com. We are doing the Hockey Tech Roadshow. Right now we are in Palm Beach, Florida. I know in Palm Beach the last thing you think about is hockey, more about palm trees. But we're actually at a hockey rink today. Uh, talk to the Palm Beach Hawks of the United States Premier Hockey League. Like any locker room, the junior level, the boys are a bit messy. Well, this is the Palm Beach Hawks locker room. And plenty of information on the balls, a lot of motivational stuff, the stick room. Shower, let's not go in there. with Pierre Deshaun, the head coach of the Palm Beach Hawks of the United States Premier Hockey League with the elite level and both also a USP3 team. Pierre, how long have you been on Palm Beach so far? I moved here two years ago. I came from uh, Boulder area. I was coached from the WSHL and uh, I decided to uh, have an agreement to buy the team. And uh, since now I'm uh, managed, owns and head coach. I'm doing everything right now. <laughs> so when you come to Palm Beach, you're thinking of retirement, and then you decide to get back into hockey. Yeah, no, I was going to play uh, for hockey, but at the same time, I was thinking to uh, maybe in a project of five, six years was maybe the time to maybe retire. So I said, you know, there's a principally open the door for me, and the family is very happy about that. People come to Palm Beach and they think about this area, they think about the beaches and palm trees and, and a lot of money. What's it like for players coming in? It's all about we we become a slogan, so as a paradise in hockey. And uh, we teach them about, listen, of course you have the beach, you have the sun, you have everything, but also you have a great opportunity to become a great hockey player. We focus on education. Uh, that's the first thing we do here is education. All my players have to work or go to school. Second thing is about human being. Um, and then thirdly, we have a chance to let this game, them to skip about four hours per day. So it's all about development. Uh, we have a young team, but that's what we focus more. It's about developing players to reach their goal. Yes, I've usually played in CAs. Speaking of development, I notice a lot of young players on the USP3 team. What is the breakdown of the ages you have right now? Right now, we have, honestly, it's uh, all 16, 17, 18. We have one or two and 19, and that's very sure We don't have nobody from 20 years old. It was the purpose of this. Second thing, it was about invite, reach more players from Florida. That was our first thing we need to know to give them a hope to play consistently hockey when they reach their after the midget uh, hockey. So they have an opportunity to play hockey here, and we are really lucky to have a great uh, hockey player here. Coming from Quebec and then into the Western States Hockey League, you saw all the Europeans. Right now in Palm Beach, I believe in Florida, there was a one player that was drafted out of Florida so far. So yes. So what we have a chance, like you said, I mean, I'm coming from Quebec, so I have an opportunity to reach more people. And uh, we have four, five players from Quebec Park. Two of them play for Ifax Montreal. There's something the people ask them why they come here. But again, it's to give back, give them an opportunity to learn English. First of all, second thing to have maybe a chance to play in CA and to reach their goals. And uh, we are really proud to have that that opportunity for them to come here. Excellent. What can to build that that kind of dynasty and a great teams this year? We're looking for goalie. One goalie and then uh, forward. We have uh, you know, 20, 10 more spots open right now, and then hopefully we can reach half of them at the end of the year and uh, finish with 40. What's my goal like in here? Nobody have uh, the last six years, no, never happened to have 40 players here. So this was my goal. I'm still too short, but I really believe what we're doing is different to any place. We want to reach this number. You're off to a good start. Thank you. This is William Pierre from Montreal. Montreal. William, what league did you play in last year? I played junior to goalie in Montreal last year. And what made you decide to come to Palm Beach? Uh, I went to a showcase in Boston uh, last May, and uh, I talked to Frenchie. He uh, he watched me play, and he told me that uh, it was like a, a great league here in Palm Beach, and I like to play like in the sun, and always like wear short and flip flops. You wake <laughs> up in the morning, there's no question if you wear flip flops and uh, shorts. 
and uh, I think it's a really good experience to come here uh, to become like a, become a, a better person and a, a better hockey player. And how's your English coming along? Oh, well, my mom is uh, English at home, so I spoke like a, like ten years in English at home, so my English is kind of good, but I would like to get it better. You've been to the beach yet? Yeah. yeah, I went to the beach. I we went once with Frenchie uh, to train on the beach. It was a hard training. Uh, and I went like to go to the, the beach, like to enjoy the, the sun and the water. You try to tell my friend she is just a, a weekly thing to go to the beach. Is he gonna buy that? Yeah, obviously. No, no not every week. Huh? No, not every week. Okay. I'm with Matias Weir. He's a forward. Matias, what team were you with last year? Uh, I played here for the Hawks Empire team. Before that, you were with the Western States Hockey League. Yeah. The the El Paso Rhinos. Yes, sir. Very good. So what do you like about being in Palm Beach compared to El Paso? Uh, it's a lot nicer, honestly. Uh, it's nice to just be able to go to the beach whenever you want, honestly. Uh, the weather's amazing. And it never rain. it rarely rains. So what is your goals for, college, for hockey? You want to go to college? Yeah, uh, my goal is to get to at least NCAA D3. Very good. Yeah. Do you have any schools online you're thinking about? Um, I'm not really. I'm just, I need to start looking this year. Very good. With all the showcases that the USPHL goes to, you're going to be seen by a lot of college coaches. So they're going to ask you questions like, what do you want to do after after hockey? So what kind of career goals do you have? Um, I, I just want to go to college, honestly, get a good education, get a good job. Probably going to major in business. Very good. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. No problem.